For those who don't know, Xiaomi is a Chinese tech company known for making high quality products and some absolutely balls to the walls over the top devices. One such example is the Xiaomi Mi Mix Alpha, a phone with a screen that wraps almost the entire way around the device, except for a small strip on the back where the cameras are located. Oh, and one of those cameras is Samsung's 108 megapixel behemoth. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Instead, we're gonna look at one of their more recent line of phones, the Black Shark Gaming Series. And while still new, it's now into its second generation. And that is what I'll be reviewing today, the Black Shark 2. I'm not gonna lie, the Black Shark 2 is one of my favorite looking phones in recent years. It has just enough of that gamer aesthetic to make it look unique. Having the glass and matte aluminum combo, with little green accents sprinkled throughout the design, but it doesn't take it past the point of reason. I'm looking at you, ROG Phone 2. And for the time that I've been using the phone, which has been around two weeks now, I've had three people come up to me and ask me what this phone was because they have never seen one like it. This phone does have one hell of a footprint though. The Black Shark 2 stands 163.3 millimeters tall, 75 millimeters wide, and 8.8 .8 millimeters thick. Give or take a couple meters, that's around the same size of a Galaxy Note 10. A small note since I am comparing the Black Shark 2 to, well, the Note. It is about an additional 10 grams heavier. One of my favorite physical design aspects is the inclusion of RGB. The logo on the back of the phone, as well as the light bars on the side, are fully RGB and have customizable patterns to them. The settings do include the typical rainbow, breathing, and static, as well as some cool ones like the fireworks option on the side lights, which is my personal favorite. The sidebars also work as an indicator for how low your battery is, and a status bar for when it is charging. One of my favorite little details that Xiaomi has opted to include in the design of the Black Shark 2. Three cameras are also built into the Black Shark 2's design, two on the back and one in the front. As for the two rear cameras, the main one is a 48 megapixel champ paired with a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. Funny enough, I found out better image quality just by zooming in with the main camera than trying to use a telephoto option. As for the selfie camera, it rocks a 12 megapixel camera that is exceptionally crisp. This all means nothing if the software end is not well built though. And while Android 9 is not perfect, more on that later, it does get the job done. There are other third party options available if you want something more substantial, but it's not necessary. Taking a quick look under the hood, the Black Shark 2 is packing a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 paired with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of memory. For that one, it runs $550. But if you're looking for a bit more, there's a SKU carrying 12GB of RAM and 256GB of memory. Said version will run you $650 though. As for the one I was sent, the former variant is the one currently in my pocket. And I'm not gonna lie, the performance of phones for gaming is fairly predictable. Look what the phone is packing and you can get a general idea. And with the Snapdragon 855, gaming is a breeze. Games are smooth and responsive, and when you toggle the shark space button, you enter the built-in gaming mode for this phone, where all notifications and phone calls are blocked and where you can crank everything to 11. By swiping from the top right corner to the middle of the phone, you can enter the gaming center of the phone. From that point, you can adjust pretty much everything from HDR settings to CPU and GPU controls. The phone does get noticeably hotter when you turn on ludicrous mode though, the highest performance setting, but games definitely do feel smoother. Despite the increase in temps though, the phone never gets to the point where it's uncomfortable to hold. Be careful though, it will drain your battery much faster. There's only one issue really holding the Black Shark 2 back from being one of the best, and sadly, it's the screen. It's not the entire display that is problematic, just one aspect to be completely honest. As for the good, it's an AMOLED screen with a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. And with a 1080 by 2340p screen stretching across 6.39 inches, it does not have the highest pixel density. But the display is still perfectly capable. So what seems to be the issue? It's the fact that when 90Hz has become the new standard for smartphone displays, Black Shark has opted to go for a 60Hz screen. I'm sorry, but this doesn't seem to make a lick of sense. Why would a phone push so hard in advertising about gaming miss something so simple, yet so crucial? Even OnePlus, a brand known for having the best bang for your buck, chose to have a 90Hz screen. Xiaomi also states that the phone has a 240Hz response rate, but I could never feel this because the screen is only 60Hz. It should be obvious that if you are so willing to advertise this as a feature, you should build in a screen capable of showing such a feature off. There are a couple more problems as well. 
I know at this point it sounds like I'm beating a dead horse, but god do I wish the Black Shark 2 had a headphone jack. There is no reason it should be lacking this feature, especially when there's no IP rating. I could understand if they were trying to create a better seal, but they really have no excuse not to have one, especially when sound is such a crucial aspect in any game you wish to be good at, such as COD Mobile and PUBG Mobile. On top of that, the phone uses Android 9, a solid foundation for a good OS, but not so much without a reskin. I mean, it seems like such a simple quality of life improvement to be able to swipe away notifications on the lock screen without it prompting to unlock itself every time I do it. This is compounded by the fact that the only direction you can swipe to unlock the phone is up, so you forget the notification issue. There are just so many little quality of life improvements like this that could have been taken care of. Another one, for example, is how the volume rocker adjusts MIDI volume instead of the notification volume. Seriously, who thinks of this? Outside of those couple of gripes, there's nothing else wrong with the Black Shark 2. You could argue the dual front firing speakers are a bit muffled, but if you turn the speakers down to a reasonable level, because they do fucking bump, there's no issue. Did you just say the F word? The Black Shark 2 also includes 27 watt fast charging for its 4000 milliamp battery, claiming a 60% charge in 30 minutes. Surprisingly, this does hold up, as long as you're not using the phone while it is charging, of course. This does make up for the lack of NSF charging as well. And in the end, I'm not going to hold that against the phone considering the price point it comes in at. Personally, the Black Shark 2 does get a solid recommendation for me. There's no way around it. I do love what Xiaomi is doing with this line of phones, bringing top tier performance to a stylish gaming phone, even including a built-in gaming mode. And with this phone sitting at a $550 price point, you cannot find a better deal out there without having to move up in price brackets. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And while there, check out the description where you can find a link to Culture of Gaming, our affiliate website who lent us this phone for a review. There you can get caught up on all things gaming. See you next time.